Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing Wiimod onto my Steam Deck Steam OS. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, so let's see uh, how the new version of Wiimod works with the new version of Steam OS. But full disclaimer, okay, so in order for this to work, you need to have already installed Wiimod previously and it's working on like, it, it, you have the prefix folder and all that. Uh, if you don't, make sure you probably have a friend that has it that can share the prefix folder with you. Okay, if you do it from scratch, it, it might not work because I, I tried it. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time, but I tried to use, like installing the new version. Okay, so currently the version of Wiimod is 11.2.0. So I did try installing it with different protons, tried it a bit, didn't really work out from scratch. So yeah, make sure you know that, okay? Before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check out their website using my link below. They offer games at big discounts. Some games are even up to 90% off, and it's possible because they buy the game keys directly from the game developers. So that translates to savings for you. Um, and, you know, before you buy any games from Steam or, you know, even like uh, Nintendo eShop, they've got like it's cross platform PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. Before you make a purchase, make sure you just check them out see if like there's any savings there this could save you a lot of money you can even buy game pass subscription here windows license keys okay all the good stuff so yeah make sure you save yourself some money go check them out i do get a little kickback for every purchase you make using my link but uh, yeah that's at no additional cost to you so thank you for sponsoring me and let's get back to our video so let's get started let's get started so first thing i've already got wiimod installed like previously like i said you you do need to have it installed previously uh up and running um so let's check it out first so this is the we bot that i've installed many many months ago okay so yeah you can see it, it this does work this does work this prefix folder is good it's working okay and if i check out the settings okay so this is an old version 10.8.0 okay so it, it's working so what i need to do is what I need to do is I need to stop this first. Okay, so here, go to properties. Okay, I need to know where the prefix folder is. So it, it's right here. It's in my, this is the location. This is the location of the prefix folder. Okay, so copy the location. Go to your dolphin. And okay, I'm going to create a new tab. Okay, so paste your location so this is the prefix folder for my existing wiimod okay so for right now i downloaded i'm gonna leave the links you need to download the wiimod 11.2.0 installer so right click on it add to steam okay here it is on the left hand side of your steam library 11.2.0 okay change the proton compatibility to experimental so proton experimental and then let's just run the ex like the installer okay so okay before we run this go back to a new tab new tab okay so go to home go to home if you don't know this already but i think you do since you've already installed it so click on this hamburger button make sure show hidden files this is checked and then go to the hidden folder dot steam 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 apps, compact data, okay, and then I normally use this details view, okay, there's different views, go to details view, and I sort by modified descending, so that the, the newest files are at top, okay, so if I run, when I run this for the first time, it's going to create a new prefix folder, okay, so let's check, play, and you see here, this is the 2948, yeah, this just created right now, so this is the prefix folder for my new Wiimod, so it's good to know that. And let's just run the installer and see if it installs Wiimod correctly. Yeah, it's installing. Okay, but we can't run it because we don't have the correct .NET. So that's fine. Stop it. Okay. Um, and then... And then you go inside the prefix folder. Okay, so prefix, 
So this looks like Windows now. Drive C, users, theme user, um, app data, local, Wiimod. So this is the where it installed Wiimod. So you might want to copy this because later we're going to override it and you might like remove your latest version. So we're just going to copy this. Copy. And I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder for now. So paste one folder. So I've got the Wiimod. So I backed up my Wiimod 11.2.0. Okay. And then go back to your prefix folders. Okay, so this is the new one, 2948, this is random number, obviously. So I'm just going to copy over my old prefix folder that's working. So I'm just going to copy all this and drag it over to the new one. That's why I said it would overwrite your Wiimod. So yeah, so I'm just going to copy and I'm just going to copy here. Apply to all, right into, apply to all, overwrite. Okay, just copy it over. Okay, and then here, prefix. Go back into the new prefix folder. So drive C, users, Steam user, app data, local, and this is the Wiimod. So we might want to copy over our backup of Wiimod. So, so it's the latest version. So I'm just going to drag it over and I'm going to copy here and overwrite. Right into overwrite okay so click the wiimod location so this the okay i'm going to copy this this link like like this uh path copy it go back to our wiimod 11.2.0 go to properties okay so this is actually pointing to the installer we don't want to point it to an install anymore we want to actually run wiimod so here in start in i'm going to paste the location that I just did. And then here, I'm just going to make sure you leave the quotation marks. I'm just going to paste it here. So co open quotation marks and then that path that you just copied over. And then here we need to add the, oops. You can actually browse for it yourself, but yeah, I'm just going to type it. So, and then uh, it's wemod.exe. Yeah, so you can actually just copy this just to be safe in case. So copy. Just gonna put it at the end. So it actually points to the wemod.exe. That's what you want. So wemod.exe. Yeah, and then make sure you close quotation marks. And then here compatibility. Make sure it's Proton Experimental. And I think that's good. I think that's good. I think we're done. And then click play. Yeah, it opens up. So you don't get that .NET framework issue again. Let's open it because I copy like it's kind of cheating because I copied over my old prefix folder. Because the new protons, it kind of messes up with the .NET framework and all that. So, okay, your grips, okay. So I don't have Pro anymore. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a new version. You can see that the layout is different. Before the 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 like the settings was down here. Is it still down there? Uh, how do I see my version? I haven't used it in so long. Oh, here it is. So you go here, settings. Yeah, they've definitely changed it. So here you can see version 11.2.0. So that's how I installed the latest version of Wiimod 11.2.0 as of recording and also onto the latest Steam OS. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, you do need, like I said at the very beginning, you do need to have it installed previously or make sure you have a friend that has it installed copy over their prefix folder that is gold that that prefix folder is gold so make sure you like you know copy that over and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you